Hi guys, so the internet is a wonderful thing because when you write something, it remains forever. Now this is Nadine Doris. She wrote in a comment for a newspaper back in 2016, Brexit will boost NHS pay, claims Nurse MP. Nadine Doris says leaving the EU will release funds for the NHS. So under the picture it says the NHS is safe with Brexit. I know this, I know that isn't what we were told during the referendum campaign by leaders of Project Fear, but it's true. I don't know how she was able to make that claim, but she claimed it was true. And also Project Fear. I haven't heard from Project Fear recently. Perhaps it's because it has morphed into Project Reality. So what did she say recently? Well, a bit of a contradiction. So she says here, 1% um, pay rise for NHS staff, the most the government can afford, says Minister Nadine Doris. So she went from being an MP in 2016 to being a minister. So when she was an MP, she was able to claim that there would be all this money to help pay extra uh, wages to the NHS staff. And now as she's a minister, she's saying, no, we can't afford it. So much for taking back control. But I think this goes into a deeper problem. There are members of, of parliament who used to be, for example, teachers or doctors or nurses. And you would imagine that when they became MPs or ministers, they would look out for their former colleagues. But that's not the case. Some of them do, but many of them do not. And Nadine Doris is one of them. She used to be a nurse, so you would imagine she would understand the, the stress, the struggles of working as a nurse and how important it is to look after those people when you get into power. But unfortunately, she seems the type of person who doesn't really care about those former colleagues. She's in a comfortable position now. She was a comf in a comfortable position back in 2016 um, on a, a salary much, much higher than a nurse's salary. And now as a minister, she's head and shoulders above even an MP's salary. So she's so disconnected from her former life that she is unable to connect with that once again and understand the problems that nursing staff go through and the cost of living for them and these, the, the struggles economically that they face on a daily basis. So I hope people will look at Nadine Doris in a new light. She was a Brexiteer who promised that Brexit would deliver more money for NHS staff. But in reality, even though she's in a much more powerful position to see it through, she said that, well, I'm sorry, we don't have any money left. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot. I want to say a big, big thank you to all of my patrons. You ensure that this channel continues to exist. I'm eternally grateful for all of your support. If you join Patreon, you will receive instant access to our Discord server, where we have both audio and video chats. You can chat with me and other patrons, where we discuss important and non-important issues. Becoming a patron per month costs about the same as a large coffee. So why not check it out?